The Toowoomba region's transformation over the past 10 years has been remarkable and the next decade promises to be just as exciting. Our regional centre Toowoomba has transformed from a large country town to a cosmopolitan city, influenced by our emerging laneway culture. We have a jet capable airport, a large data centre, solar farms and the initial approvals to commence the construction of the inland rail. We have rich traditions and we have bold ambitions. Back in 2013, we sat down with the community to set our vision for the future. A roadmap that would guide how we use our resources strategically to realise current and future needs and our aspirations. This is the last time we reported against our 2014-19 corporate plan. Our 2018-19 annual report also chronicles the achievements of our region as a whole and provides a transparent summary of how we spent our money received via rates, grants, fees and revenue. Our region has a diverse and stable economy that is able to avoid the boom and bust cycles experienced by many other regions. Last year, our gross regional product for the Toowoomba region edged over $10.81 billion. It was up 4.5% on the previous 12 months. Our average growth over the past 10 years is around 3.6% per year, exceeding the state average of 2.1%. Look, there's a reason to be optimistic with the strong employment growth, the highest in the state, and a solid population growth rate. This year, Council injected $475 million into the economy, including an operational service delivery expenditure of $322 million and a capital infrastructure program of $153 million. Our long-term ambition of diverting heavy traffic out of Toowoomba edged closer to reality, with Council continuing to manage the second rail crossing interface with Nexus and the Department of Transport and Main Roads, including the construction of Maud Street and the Boundary Street Link Roads. This $1.6 billion project is a game changer for the region and we anticipate the many benefits that will come with the official opening of this landmark project. I was thrilled to attend the official opening of the $28 million Highfield Sports and Recreation Park in April, following stage construction by Council over several years. Sporting clubs connect communities and promote healthy and active lifestyle and it's wonderful to hear that netball, football, running and rugby clubs are utilising this wonderful facility. The 120-year-old heritage-listed Toowoomba Railway goods shed was officially opened following a $10.24 million renovation and upgrades to Cathro Park progressed to create a link from the Railway Parkland precinct right through to Queen's Park. On behalf of my fellow councillors, I would like to thank CEO Brian Pidgeon for his leadership during the year and acknowledge the ongoing contribution of our valued staff and our many committed volunteers. I would also like to thank my fellow councillors for their continued passion, support and expertise. I am confident our combined efforts will strengthen our rich traditions and ensure current and future generations take full advantage of our bold ambitions.